Hey everybody, um, it's been a while I've posted a hair video on YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to do something completely different. I have here a MacBook 11, so this is my personal MacBook. Um, after um, a software upgrade, it was, it has, was giving errors trying to do the update of the installation, but now every time I press the power button, it gives the three beeps so uh, I'm going to check what's going on it might be an issue with the um, thermal paste that is completely dry so I need to replace it or it might be the memory RAM uh, if it is the memory RAM probably would be necessary to do um, uh, a reflow of the memory chips that is on, on the motherboard so Let's get started. Let's get open first here the, the MacBook. Okay, so here we have it. So I opened my mod <coughs> the motherboard of my laptop. So uh, as I was saying, this is a MacBook Air 11 A1370. Um, after I opened it, I saw it's a little bit dirty due to the dust. So uh, and I have not been working with this a couple of months. So during this week i decided to work in with it so then uh, it was asking for software updates uh we got about the uh, uh os system and after that uh, it was giving me a lot of messages saying that um that was not able to install to upgrade the software and then i was trying to um clean the factory reset and see if that resolves the, the problem but uh, it, it continues to show up so uh, after that um, it has started to give uh, a sound like three beeps after um, after I turn on the the, the, um, the laptop so the first thing I'm going to do I'm just going to try to see if there's any term of pest left here, it might be one of the causes. Otherwise, I will have to remove the entire board and behind the, the, the motherboard, you can see the, um, the memory RAM of the, um, of the MacBook and I will see if, we, if it will be necessary to reflow uh, the memory RAM chips. So. Okay, so here it is. I just remove the motherboard. Uh, I have checked with if the thermal paste uh, was so dry but i think that was not the cause it might be the the chips that represent each uh, memory so we have here 12, 16 chips of the memory so basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to reflow the chips and see if they after I pass with her some hot air on the on the chips I, I need to check if it starts to um, to move I'm going to do this, that one by one if that resolves the issue, it should be okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a lot of flux on the chips. So what I'm going to do is... I don't Turn this on. I'm going to put this around 400 degrees Celsius. <coughs> and I'm going to pass the, the hot air on each chip that we have here. Pick up not too easy.
Let's add a little bit of more flux on this chip as well. Much better. So I'm not afraid of losing this MacBook because I bought this MacBook a couple of years ago, I think it was four or five years ago. It was around, it was around 70 euros and uh, the battery was, uh, was damaged, included the LCD, so uh, I think I just wasted about, about 70 euros as well for the both things, I guess I, I quite remember. Maybe more, maybe less. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's been a while. This has been a good MacBook for me, just to watch on the TV, Netflix, YouTube, and sometimes working with the um, with the addition of my YouTube videos during the first during the first videos I have started to put on the YouTube channel. It doesn't work. I will buy a new one. Maybe a Lenovo. I like the MacBooks, but they are really expensive, and I don't have the money to offer that. Okay. And that's it. Okay, just let it dry a little bit, so I'm going to assemble the pieces. Well, let's see if something happens here or not. Okay, I'm not going to put everything back together because I'm not too sure if this is going to work. <clears throat> let me grab my... Charger, where is the charger? Okay. Got it here. Oh, it's on the other side. Let's see, do we have fan spinning? Okay, that's good to know. Let's see if we have the question mark. Uh, as you can see, this was not showing up the the white screen, which is uh, good. At least we have uh, some light. So let's just switch if, if we can see the question mark. Yep, it's working. Cool. This is good. It was working, so I'm just now gonna put everything back together, including the, the SSD RAM, and then uh, we'll see at the end of the results if we have any good news or not. But at least it came light. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the correct, the correct expression, but at least it decided to show up some light, which is not, uh, which was not showing on the, my my first test. So let me just assemble everything, and then I will show you the end of the results. Okay, uh, just assemble everything back together. So the only thing I need to connect is just the battery. I'm just plug the the battery here. Okay. I can just put the charger again. I have also put the SSD card. Let me just check. Just doesn't go out here. 
So we have green light, fan spin, and it boots. Okay, Apple logo. Okay, this has been completed. <coughs> It's showing here that there is an error uh, after have installed the, the updated firmware but uh, that's not a problem for me. At least it's back to normal, I just need to uh, reinstall the image of the, um, of the MacBook, so of the MacBook OS, it should be uh, fine. Guys, uh, I think this will be, I, I hope this will be useful for you, uh, for anyone who's watching here the video. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you some people who, who make me start to do some small jobs like this. For example, Louis Rosman, I've been uh, watching his channel for almost more than 3-4 years. Uh, this is the first time I'm doing uh, to fix a MacBook, which is good. So, I thank you Louis for this. Uh, also, um, I want to thank as well uh paul daniels paul daniels with his incredible software who's working to and and he's always available to teach everybody on doing his live uh, streaming channel and also one of the, one of the people i like to see as well is from jason from scs he keeps working recovering iphones which is uh, amazing that the job was he doing he decided to move from another place from the United States to Florida and he's always doing this as a full-time job at his home so I hope he continues to do more YouTube chat videos sorry more videos doing the um, the near future which is good uh, it's also very interesting to learn everything about the iPhones as well so guys uh, I hope you like the video please uh, subscribe my channel which is very important to me and share the video for any, any other persons you, if you like to to show and i will see you next time bye